All right, I got the clay softened up to where I can cut it into pieces, workable pieces. You could keep it as a big lump. It comes in a 10 pound block from Sculpture Depot in Loveland, Colorado. But, uh, and the clay I use is a JMAC clay. But this just makes it easier because you don't have to uh, handle a big 10 pound block of clay. You can just use a little tiny clay piece of clay which softens faster under a 100 watt bulb and uh, all you got to worry about is how far that 100 watt bulb is above the clay because the closer it is to the uh, clay the softer the clay gets all right I'm going to continue this and then I'll be right back to start working on the uh, pioneer girl Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm making uh, the tips of the shoes. I went online last night and looked up uh, shoe types. For that period of time about 1870 and uh, I'm going by that now it's just gonna be the tip of the shoes not the whole shoe but I need both shoes to be the same length so I'm cutting them off there and the same width <laughs> this one's a little narrow I'm just going to shape the toe. There's not much to see, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this, and I'll be back when I get this attached. Okay, I'm adding the feet now. Gotta come back and uh, start uh, working on. Uh, right, the, just add the uh, frills to the front of the dress now. All right, I'm just evening up the uh, bottom of the dress. Now this ain't the texture I'm going to be using, but this tool, this wire tool, covers a larger area for shaping. And that's what I need right now. I'll come back and put the right texture in it later. Probably be one of the last things I do. I'm just putting some wrinkles at the waistline because that's where the wrinkles would be. And these would be flattened out wrinkles because the, the material is folded over under the top half of the dress.
This will all make sense in a few minutes here. Alright, I've left this open here and here because I need to put more wrinkles underneath the uh, upper section of this uh, blouse or the uh, total dress. I'm taking the design of this dress from a statue of a uh, pioneer woman. And uh, it's a great looking dress and it looks the period too and that's really what counts is making it look like the period a lot of the stuff you get online when you do a search for pioneer clothing is modern day clothing and uh, there's a really good movie with John Wayne called The Big Trail I think it was his first movie and it was made about pioneers and in that movie you had a lot of people who were probably actually pioneers who actually did come across the prairie and a lot of the wagons in fact I'll say all the wagons they used were probably wagons that were stored on ranches out in California that brought a lot of those people out from back east. And uh, it's probably one of the best movies as far as clothing and uh, wagons and things like that that I've ever seen. And it had real Indians in it. I mean, these are Indians that you see in, in photographs of Indians in uh, old photographs. All right, this is the last I'm going to be doing today. I've uh, kind of had the inspiration to change the design a little bit. I like how the arms are working with the total design, the flow of the arms. And what I'm thinking is having her holding a shawl in her two hands and that shawl has caught the wind and is billowing out behind her. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I can make that work and castable at the same time. But I've had tougher obstacles in my way before. And uh, it's no tougher than other obstacles I've had when I'm sculpting. Besides, you're always pushing yourself when you're sculpting. You're breaking new ground. You're doing something different that you haven't done before. At least, that's what I try to do. So... I'll come back tomorrow and I'll see where the clay leads me. Good night, everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.